What's going on repair gang? So today we're working on this pressure washer. It's a Simpson brand, 3000 PSI. It has a Honda GCV 190 overhead cam right here. And we believe the reason why it's not starting is carburetor issues. So we're gonna turn off the feel and then we are gonna turn the switch on off and then we're gonna get to pulling off this carburetor. Air filter looks really good. We got two 10 millimeter bolts right here. One, super long. Two, that should pull off the cover and, and everything else should fall off on it too. Heat shield, spacer, gasket, all those look relatively good. Looks a little oily, so that might not be that good, but we'll take it apart and we'll see what we go. Next, we're gonna take out the fuel line and then remove it and then pull off the carburetor. So we just need to get the fuel line off by just using a pair of needle noses or fuel line pliers if you got them. Super simple. And then now from here, all we gotta do is take out the choke. Try and take them both out at the same time. There we go. Then you got a little spring right there. And bam, there's our carburetor. So you've seen one carburetor clean, you've seen a thousand of them. So I'm not really gonna show you this, but I'm just gonna show you, I'm gonna take that off. I'm gonna take the 10 millimeter off of the bottom, pull it out, clean up all the jets, clean this thing super nice. We're gonna put it back on and see if that fixed our problem. I had to bring you guys back for a second because it's been a long time since I noticed that an emulsion tube is actually the one clogged and not the jet. So if you have your brushes or your micro drill, all you gotta do is pinch it and pull it through. And it's been a long time since I've seen one where the emulsion tube is plumb clogged. So that's a new one for me. Poke it through. So that explains why this thing is not running is it it's getting to the jet but it's not getting to the rest of the carburetor let's see you can see i don't know how good you guys can see that but it's been a while like i said that is you don't see that a lot so the main thing is just clean this up that should fix it okay all you got to do to put this on is line it up you want them both in at the same time that way for when you do the bend to the straight they both go in at the same time just like that now you're going to put the spring back in there now just a quick test you're going to hold it in place try to choke it and it's choking fine we'll put some oil on there now from there you can put the fuel line in and let that dangle for a second where you get all your gaskets, heat shield, and everything in order. And so it's going to go heat shield to spacer to that. I believe that this other gasket is actually going to go on the back side. So you're going to have it lined up ready to go. So just put it aside for a second. Because this heat shield counts as your gasket for the carburetor to the spacer. Now what you do here is you're going to take your bolts and you're going to feed them through, get it ready. Sorry, I'm all up in the camera. You're just going to take it, get it ready. Just like so. Oh, see, they're falling out. This is a pain in the ass because you need like three hands. So... Once you get them like that, you're going to put this down. Now, you're going to come back over here. And this is always the most annoying part. You're going to get your heat shield and your gasket ready. You're going to take your cover, feed it through the carburetor. I don't know why Honda decided to make it so pain. 
feed it through the heat shield gasket and the spacer. Once you get them fed through there, you bring it up, line it up, and you hand start them. And then from there, all you do, zip them down. I'm surprised this one doesn't have one over here. We're going to put our air filter back on. Actually, it's over there. We're going to run the gas real quick. We're going to make sure we don't see any leaks. And then we're going to test it. Choke is working. I think I got it on backwards. Yeah, you're supposed to pull it out the choke, so I got it on backwards. So let me fix that real quick. Okay, now it's working right. Pull out the choke, push in the go, pull out the choke, push in the go. Don't put it backwards like I did. It actually goes in the other hole of the thing. So now we're going to start it up. I mean, it would have been fine. It would have still ran fine. So we're going to, again, we're going to test for leaks, and then we're going to try to start this bad boy up. Okay, let's fire this bad boy up. Switch on. Choke out. seafoam to the gas and that's what he was using to try to test start the engine so that's why it's smoking so after that all clears out and it's running regular gas and we got water hooked up to it this thing should be running like it's brand new again so we added a hose here i want to make sure that this thing runs right before i leave make sure everything's good and everybody should have one of these shutoffs here so it makes it easier we're not going to have a hose to it we're just going to spray out so without further ado i'm going to give you guys a good angle here Switch on, we don't need choke. So, I'm really surprised that it was the emulsion tube on this Honda. Normally that doesn't go bad. Like, normally it's the main jet that you would see that's clogged. But we got this thing running good. And if this video helped you out, don't forget to hit that like button. Also hit that subscribe button. Shout out to my channel members right there. And without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, I will see you guys on the next one.